Hello guys, today I'm here with a new tutorial, and in this video I'm gonna show how to fix and map USB ports on Mac OS, using Hackentool. So before starting, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, then please subscribe to the channel, and stay connected for latest updates. So guys, let's start. For this purpose, you'll require Clover, or OpenCore Configurator, for mounting the EFI partition, and editing the plist file, Hack and tool for generating texts and SSDTs, ACPI renames text file. These renames are required only if you're using old generation system. Texts list according to controller. If your computer uses different controller, which is not supported by Mac OS, and also USBs, according to available ports on your system, like 2.0, 3.0, and Type C. To map the USB ports, firstly you'll need to make sure that your all USB ports are working well and being detected by system, you might have questioned that, why to map USB ports, if they're working well. Mapping USB ports from Mac OS Big Sur version 11.3, is mandatory, as there some changes have been made, since Mac OS Big Sur version 11.3, and without mapping only 2.0 ports will work, and 3.0 will not work, and vice versa. If your USB ports isn't working, use the ACPI renames with texts, these ACPI renames are only required in previous generation systems, to be specific, up to Broadwell, and earlier. First and second renames are to be used in systems up to Broadwell, either its laptop or desktop. Third rename will be only used for 5th series laptops, and the last two renames are for x79 systems. If your system uses different controller, which is not supported by Mac OS, you'll need to use some extra texts, depending upon your controller. To find your USB controller, open Hacken Tool and click on PCIe. Here click on USB controller. Here, if you have controller listed in text file, make sure to use respective texts, as you can see my device ID is A2AF, and it's not listed in text file, so I'll not use any text, except USB inject all text. And if you are using any texts, mentioned in text file, make sure to use along with USB inject all. Now, close all, and mount your ESP. Now, Open your config.plist And now, go to kernel tab, and here you can see that, I'm only using USB inject all text, as my controller is supported by Mac OS, by default. And also make sure that XHCI port limit is checked. After applying the fixes according to your system requirements, save config.plist file, and restart your PC, and reset NVRAM twice. Now after restart, open Hackin tool. In Hack and Tool, go to USB tab, and then click on Clear All, and then click on Refresh, and your all USB ports will be populated. Here many of USB ports are being populated, but that does not mean that the number of populated USB ports must be available physically, many of these are also internal headers. Now, if you are using Mac OS Big Sur version 11.3 or later, and have enabled XHCI port limit in plist file, then you might notice that only your 3.0, Type-C, and 3.2 ports are working, and 2.0 ports aren't working. I'm also using Mac OS Big Sur 11.4, so, for now I have only 3.0, and Type-C ports working. For now, plug all the types of USBs, which is being recognized, and make sure to plug each type of USBs, in each type of ports, if any of the port is missed, it will not be usable in future. Now if you're using Mac OS Big Sur 11.2.3, or earlier, your all ports will be working, so, plug all the USBs in each ports, but if you have Mac OS Big Sur version 11.3 or later, close Hack and Tool, and open config.plist file, now go to kernel tab, and uncheck, XHCI port limit, and save the plist file, then restart your PC, and reset NVRAM twice. Now, after restart, open Hack and Tool again and go to USB tab, and now without clearing, or refreshing, plug any USB 2.0 device in all ports, I have total 7 physical ports available, one is type C and rest regular USB ports, so total number of active ports will be 13, but one port is missed, so one port will not be able to detect any 2.0 device, so the total number of active port it will be 12, and now, unlock hack and tool, and select all unactive ports, and click on delete. After deleting, click on export, and it will export text and SSDTs. Now, close all.
now again, mount your ESP, and go to a C folder. And here, delete all previous SSDTs, DSDTs or KEXs related to USB, as this is the simple and quick guide for mapping USB ports. So the easiest method is to use USB port KEXT, but if you want you can also use UIAC SSDT, but with that you'll need to use additional KEXTs. Now copy the USB port KEX to the KEXT folder, and then open config.plist. In config.plist, remove all the previous entries related to USB, and create new entry of USB port KEXT in kernel tab. Make sure to enable the KEXT entry, and follow the KEXT entry arrangements. After using the SSDT or KEXT, generated from Hackentool, make sure that XHCI port limit is unchecked, whether you're using the latest version of Mac OS, or previous versions. After making the changes in plist, Save the plist, and close all, and, restart your system, and reset NVRAM twice. Now it's time to check the USB ports, whether it's working as mapped or not. For that, open Hackentool, and go to USB tab. Click on clear all, and then click on refresh, and here you can see, 11 inactive ports, 1 active port, which is receiver. Now, I will be plugging different types of USBs in different ports. And as you can see all the ports are working with each type of USBs. And one 2.0 port, which was left previously, isn't being detected. So, that was it, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any question, just comment down below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, for more update. Stay connected and have great day.